Hey guys, so it's another day here, but uh, I'm not gonna show you a video about the overdrive yet because I'm, as you can see, I am in the process of uh, building a test stand here. I found this motor, but it's a three phase motor, so I need to wire it to a plug that uh, I have to build a plug on the wall over there for three phase because we have this one which is for welder so I'm gonna put another one there for the for this motor anyway so that's this video today is not gonna be about the overdrive it's partially about the overdrive anyways let me put it this way uh, David Fiddler who is a member of the Toronto Triumph Club and follows my videos uh, asks a very reasonable question did I take into account the thickness of the gasket maker when I was measuring the end play of the sun gear and to be honest no I didn't take in consideration this and I just uh, considered it was uh, so minor that it wouldn't affect anything but actually I asked myself the same question when I was rebuilding one of the engines here when I was measuring the end play of the drive gear for the distributor and uh, you know there when you install the pedestal you have to play with the thickness of the gaskets so they are um, the end play of the gear is in the exact uh, amount of tolerance uh, so I asked myself the same question then and I didn't do anything about it I believed it was okay here the same thing somebody also asked me if there was a gasket here that goes between the plate and uh, two surfaces no there's no gasket that's how the, the overdrive is designed you they don't use gasket here and here on both sides of this plate so I only use the gasket maker there but like I said, I didn't take into consideration the thickness of this gasket maker because I believed it's uh, very little and it wouldn't affect anything. But actually now I'm going to check that because uh, only the fact that David Fiddler asked made me think more about that. If there is an error here, it's going to be double because we have gasket maker here and we have gasket maker on the other side of the, of the plate too. So that might affect a little bit, even though we have uh, 14 or 15 tau and play of the uh, sun gear so even if we have two three four five tau more thickness here of the of this layer we're still gonna be within the tolerance but I'm just curious now to know if actually there is an error and if there is how big is it so for this reason I set up a little test uh, area here and I'm gonna show you now I'm just gonna put you on the tripod and I'm gonna show you what my idea is okay so my idea is I have these two bridges from the other overdrive and since I believe they are the best option that I can find um, I'm gonna measure those I'm gonna put them together with bolts and I'm gonna measure the thickness we'll see how thick are they both together then we're gonna separate them we're gonna put a gasket maker in between and we're gonna measure again and of course the difference between the second and the first measurement is gonna be the thickness of our uh, gasket maker but for that we need to tighten them with a very consistent torque so i'm gonna use my torque wrench let's say 10 foot pounds okay so that's 10 foot pounds okay we are there okay so now we can measure and I'm gonna mark where I measure and I'll measure at the exact same place after that let's say here close to this boat but I have a little problem though my small micrometer is at home and I only have this one which is between one and two inches but I have this spacer here which is one inch so I'm gonna add it here <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. So we have here six twenty three tau exactly. I don't know if you see that. Let me try put you on how to focus. I don't know if you can see that, but you have to take my word. It's 623 tau. And you know what? I'm gonna do it again. Just for fun, I'm gonna take it apart and I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it back together. Just for fun, you know. I'm not gonna use my torque wrench though. Like I said, I've heard from somebody. I know I don't know if this is a myth because torque wrenches have directions here. But somebody told me that we shouldn't use a torque wrench for um, loosening, just for tightening. So I'm gonna follow this advice. And Okay, now, now these are loose and we're going to tighten them again. Okay, and let's measure again. Just going to shake it a little bit to make sure Okay, it's the exact same thing, 623 tau. Okay, now let's do the same thing but with gasket maker inside. I'm going to put them the exact same way so we can measure the same surface. I'm going to put a good amount, the same amount I usually put when I work with it. And now we're gonna tighten them again to five uh, to ten foot pounds. Okay, the moment of truth. Ugh. Six hundred twenty-three. I'm gonna lock it. Hope you can see it, guys. I'll bring it closer to. I'll turn the out to focus. Okay, I don't know if you can see it but it is 623. You have to take my word for it, so there's absolutely no difference, no gasket maker and with gasket maker there. And the reason for that is, I believe, because the gasket maker only stays in the uneven parts, where we have uh, little dents in the metal, or we have, uh, where we have little gaps, Anyways, but where the two metals touch, it is uh, it's not there anymore. So here I was planning now to do some calculations and to see uh, 
what was the thickness if it was say one tau then in the overdrive it would be actually two tau because we had gasket maker on both sides of the plate so then the end play of the sun gear would become 16 tau actually which was still in the tolerance so that was my plan but actually I don't need to do any calculations because this is proving us that the gasket maker doesn't have thickness okay guys thanks for watching let me take this apart and clean it because we don't use gasket maker there and yeah thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing and soon i will come up with a video about the test of the overdrive because everybody says oh you're a very good mechanic you do this uh, so professionally and uh, you rebuilt it perfectly but to be honest guys i'm still afraid so this is what is inside so you see close to the boat the gasket maker was pushed away and in the middle because probably these have a little bow in the middle there's gasket maker only there but where it's close to the boat it was pushed away so yeah so uh, i was saying that uh, i'm still not sure that everything is perfect there because i haven't measured the uh, pressure inside and that's my concern now i know that the valve operates i know that the clutch operates i know that the gears operate well but is there enough pressure inside to drive everything so that's what we're gonna have to measure and that's why i'm building a test stand to make sure and then i'm gonna be happy and then i'm gonna be celebrating for now i'm just laying low you know <laughs> okay one more time thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video and these guys are not my sponsors okay okay so that was the test and uh, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow we're gonna finish the wiring here and oh wow while we were doing that test somebody finished the wiring wow that's nice okay so now i guess we turn on this switch and our motor starts turning the transmission i guess so but one thing we don't have oil yet so i need to buy oil and uh, then we're gonna install the gauge here pressure gauge and we're gonna go from there but so far so good we have the stand ready so, thanks for watching guys see you later Uh, that's why I'm building a test set, test set, blah, blah, blah. that's why I'm building a test stand.